Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Maniac Monday. Yes folks, it is already the beginning of the week, which means I have to ask you if you guys had a fantastic weekend. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad with the weather wherever you're at. I know here where I'm at we got a, a, a significant snowstorm and, and it was uh, quite a... a, a the the spectacle and and waking up to it was all is always a blast and the shoveling out and and just everything to, that adds to the uh, joys of winter hate winter anyways um uh, and then also please do do me a huge favor and like share and subscribe i love seeing each and every one of you every monday through friday permitting my schedule or sometimes uh or per that's that's a sometimes thing uh or uh, um holidays i don't do the do reviews on holidays uh just because i would rather spend time with the family uh because i am always a family first kind of guy so do always keep that in mind with me uh, and then also do another huge favor by checking out the description box. There is more information on your daily films, such as your brief synopsis, your starring cast, the runtime of the cut I am watching, uh, whoever your director is, uh, an MPAA rating if there is one, uh, some trivia, and then of course a link for either a trailer or a scene in the movie. It's very, very, very rare when it when I don't have a trailer, um, and, and then it is extremely extremely rare when I have neither or neither of them so so do keep that in mind that there's usually a little bit of a bigger bigger taste of of the daily movie if you check out the description box and it'll help you uh decide if you uh, uh want to track down a copy and check it out or not whatnot or give it a second try or a third try or whatever it is you're you're doing now that I got all that out of the way, let's move on to the movie of the day. This one is definitely a movie. It is not a film. Uh, uh, it's uh, um, fun. It is none other than 2005's Santa's Sleigh, starring none other than Bill. Who's next? Goldberg. Yes, this guy was a beast when it came to being a wrestler. A man of uh, 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 of the squared circle, as they called it. The... Uh, the uh, 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 legend, uh, the guy who was multiple time uh, a heavyweight champion for both WCW and uh, WWE. So the guy is no slouch. Uh, he was also a professional football player that um, i not 100% how that uh, career ended. I'm sure it ended on an injury and that's when he got into the wrestling. But um, that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about this movie. And then, uh, um, and uh, what, as far as what is is inside this this release here, it is pretty. Um, it's got special features on there. I'm not gonna lie. There's one on there about uh, how they came up with the idea of using a buffalo instead of reindeer. Uh, how they filmed it with the buffalo. Um, there's a whole thing about uh, uh, designing uh, Santa's uh, outfit. Um, Things along that line, it, it has a lot of um, uh, small little features in there. Now, as far as it is, zero reversible artwork, If you as you can see here through this crappy recycled uh, case, which I cannot stomach those. Those things make me mad because they smush really easily. Uh, and then it is a standard issue pressed DVD just to let you know and this is released by none other than Lionsgate and this is the widescreen edition just to let you know I don't know if there is a full screen edition I imagine there probably is if they have to advertise widescreen uh, yes, got, now that I got that out of the way, let's get on to the other specs. Uh, like I said, this one came out in 2005. This is rated R, folks. There is some nudity. There is some, uh, um, uh, I think a lot of it is the, uh, swearing in this. There's a lot of, uh, F-bombs and, and things of that nature. A lot of shit talking going on here. And I really, really liked, liked that part of the, the, uh, movie. It t did not take itself seriously it, or too seriously it uh everything had a nice little it was a little little jabs at things here and there nice little tongue-in-cheek type type stuff uh and then it runs at an hour and 
35 minutes, so it is a it is a decent decent length movie. Um, I like my movies to run from that 80 to 100 minute marker, so it it falls right into my my uh, uh, forte. Uh, and then it is starring none other none other none other than Bill Goldberg, which I already brought up. Douglas Smith, Emil De Ravine, uh, Robert Culp, David Thomas. Um, uh, who else do we got in here? We got James Kahn. We got uh, uh, Fran Drescher. We got um, Scott or Chris Kattan. We got uh, the Noxima girl in there. Um, uh, Rebecca, Rebecca, whatever her, her name is. Uh, um, but we have her. Um, uh, uh, there's there's just a number of people in this movie, and it, it makes uh, up for a very uh, fun cast. And I. I really like this movie, and it starts off really, really in a very fun way. Um, and this one is also just to let you know, this is directed by Dave Steeman or Steiman. Um, this was his is his very first feature that he ever did. He never uh, uh, did, done any film anything behind the uh, as far as directing behind the camera. The guy had worked for um, Brett Ratner for a number number of of, of his films uh including um family man uh rush hour i believe both all three of them um the guy at least uh the second one i know for sure that they worked together but um either way uh uh brett ratner even did a huge favor for um uh for dave steinman and and um he is an executive producer on here which is which is really nice that um he was able to pay it forward after all the work that he had done for him so it didn't show that he is he is um uh all about himself you know it, it, it's nice to see directors actually ha have um, a little bit of soul. <laughs> uh, that's funny. But either way, um, now what is this movie about exactly? Um, it's about uh, uh, this 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 Santa Claus. It is he is no longer. Um, uh, a nice Santa Claus. He has been nice over the last uh, thousand years because of a bet he had with a uh, uh, an angel that had turned, uh, um, basically gave up all of his his angelic powers to become human, to uh, be with a woman that he absolutely loved and adored, uh, uh, absolutely. Um, lovely that 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 something like that would happen you know it, it brings joy to my heart one of those kind of things but either way um um so he lost a bet to this angel um this angelic creature person um which is funny how how the bet what the what the game was it was they they were doing curling which is the uh where they have the little weight the weighted rock thing and they slide it across the ice and they and, and try to get it to stop at uh, um, before it falls in. Get it as close as they can to this hole um, without it falling in. And and so um, Mr. Santa Claus decides he's going to go first, and he ends up losing on that one. So the last 1,000 years, he's been Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Santa Claus that we know him as. Uh, a really nice, uh, lovely, lovely human human being that does a lot of brings a lot of joy to a lot of people, and also makes a lot of people selfish as fuck. Just saying, <laughs> but uh, either way, um, so he has come back after after the one thousand years, and he is going after everyone uh, that has written him a letter. Um, everyone in that is close to. Um, the, our main character, who is played by uh, Douglas Smith, um, he is a uh, young kid who works at a local delicatessen. Um, you get to see him, uh, a magical scene with him, and a uh, bitchy old lady that um, uh, is constantly just just f-bombing and talking horrible trash and and talking about how he, his grandfather is an old kook and this and that because his grandfather doesn't celebrate Christmas. Christmas and and he is very um anti Christmas and when it comes to to uh to it all, all around in general. Uh so P so she's given him a hard time. But um either way, uh 
Bill Goldberg, uh, Santa Claus, excuse me, Sandy, Sandy Claus, decides he's going to come after Douglas Beck, uh, or Douglas Smith, not Beck, uh, Douglas Smith and his girlfriend, Emile de Ravine, or Re Revin, or Raven, or however it's pronounced, sorry. Either way, um, comes after after them a, after going through a whole slew of people along the way. You get a magical opening scene where he goes into the into a strip joint, or no, excuse me, the opening scene involves James Caan, uh, Fran Drescher, uh, um, uh, Rebecca Gayhart, uh, uh, Chris Kattan, and then I forget who the other other ones are in there. There's I believe two other people in there, two other girls. Um, but either way, uh, you get a nice, nice little, um, uh, taste of, of what the, uh, the, the movie's going to be just from this opening scene. Cause he goes through and he slays these people left and right. And, and he does a very, in various, uh, uh, humorous yet, um, uh, cringy type ways, you know, cause it's, there was, it's supposed to be fun and cool. And, and it is that exactly that. Like, like he, um, at one point in the movie, uh, he stabs somebody with an icicle, you know, and things like that, it, or, and then a, uh, a candy cane, and his, his little packages are bombs, and, you know, the guy, oh, excuse me, but either way, um, after this scene, you go into the movie, and it's, uh, you, you now know what you're, you're in for, um, you have another, um, very, very close to the beginning, you have this, another magical scene where it involves him going into a strip, local strip joint, uh, called the Gold Diggers Club, uh, and he, uh, has a nice little, um, altercation outside with the bouncer and and has the valet go park his sleigh which is kind of it, it's all it's it's really funny um as he eventually gets in there you know he, the first thing he does is grab a a stripper and give her a big old smooch on the lips and then he points up and there's a mistletoe and so it it, it, it then in turn brings on this this meathead uh, uh security guard and and so he goes through one by one killing these people at one point he goes to grab the stripper pole and he's like Ugh, and he get, grabs some some spray cleaner and and then wipes it off and then he grabs it oh my god i almost pissed myself laughing at that scene it was great uh, uh that whole that whole this whole movie is gold folks um you got uh um uh what else do we got going on here there's there's just all kinds of stuff going on uh you got dave thomas playing this ridiculous like priest um um like uh uh do as i say not as i do type character um uh, who who has a sweet tooth for the ladies and and is a uh, uh um just an overall not a good person, but he's portray he's trying to uh, make the world see him as a good person. One of those kind of ordeals. It's it's really uh, it, it's kind of cliche. A lot of these characters they're so like. Um, typical uh because like the delicatessen where where douglas works at our our main main character where he works at is run by a jewish fella and and he even uh at one point santa claus comes in and kills him and he shines him with the star of david and, and uh santa claus kills him with the uh what is it the menorah the thing that holds all the candles uh that candelabra type thing stabs him to death with that it's just like holy crap um, st extremely stereotypical characters. That's what I'm trying to get at. Basically, they um, there's even like this cop right afterwards. He says this this like he's like oh snatch up them Amish outside as well. And you look out there and they're actually Hasidic Jews. Um, yeah, bad joke, bud. But it still made me laugh. <laughs> this is a tasteless movie just to let you know there is it, it's uh uh this is for my for my connoisseurs of of bad taste uh b movies and 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 boobies and swearing and and wrestlers killing people this is this is the gold right here folks um
as far as any kind of ratings would go on this thing, or as far, actually, before I go to that, um, he's spending the rest of the movie trying to find out, uh, find the kid, uh, basically kill the last of this line of people, which is, it turns out that they are the, uh, the line, the bloodline of the, uh, angelic, uh, man that has, has given up his power. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, and now they are trying to spend uh, uh, the the rest of the movie trying to uh, get away from Santa because they believe that once it is midnight in the North Pole, uh, he is he is uh, they are all safe. Which Santa Claus brings up a whole thing about it is um, completely discretionary at the North and South Poles because that's where all the poles convert, all the time zones converge at one, so it could be interdiscretionary. One of those kind of things. It was. It, you know, it was like, oh, good thinking there, guys. But either way, uh, fun, fun, fun. Um, now, as far as any kind of ratings would go, let's get on to that. Uh, a technical side, this thing is not meant to be a technical masterpiece. It's it's probably like a two out of five. You know, it's it's uh, maybe a three a three out of five. I'll give it a three out of five. I'm I'm being a little stiff on it there. Um, a little uh, I would say three for sure because it does run it run in the middle of the road about as far as technical ability, but it brings you all this other extra stuff. Like there's some stop motion claymation type stuff in here, which I I absolutely love the that whole just everything about this movie I absolutely love there's nothing bad about this it is it is as I keep saying it is pure gold um, as far as an entertainment side goes this thing is a four out of five this is like a six or a seven out of ten kind of movie if you're if you're in the mood for some really bad tasteless cheese tastic uh, uh, violent <laughs> killing spree with lots of, of just just silly humor, uh, bad humor. Uh, this is your movie. This is this is where where your heart is going to lie. Especially if you're you're looking for a Christmas film that is not um, uh, the usual uh, this the usual thing. Because mostly people, uh, if, if you're going on the horror side, mostly people talk about Black Christmas, Christmas Evil. Um, uh, what else? Um, uh, either way, just Black Christmas and Christmas Evil, those two are, are constantly brought up. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, there's there's a lot of, of much larger scale um, uh, movies that are often often talked about, but this one is is usually towards the end of those lists. It's it usually makes the list, but not up there high enough, in my opinion. Uh, I like this one just as much as a Black Christmas and Christmas Evil and Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, this is this is this is top five Christmas evil Christmas uh, horror movie, horror for me right here. Gold, woo! I dropped it. Either way, it's a shitty little recycled case. Anyways, you know whatever. I'll replace it at some point with a with a man's case, a real case. Urgh. No, I'm kidding. I, I'm just being a smart ass. Either way, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm not 100% what exactly I'm going to do. Uh, either way, it's going to be something from Severin Films, I believe. Uh, I got like five of them, five from Severin I need to review. So look for um, a lot of Severin here in the near future. All right, guys. Love your faces, and I'll see you tomorrow.